Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a really fun project. I'm going to finish up my office space. Um, I am very excited about doing this and it is in collaboration with Cricut. So thank you very much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna do some fun projects. And I'm also gonna show you some fun Cricut projects I did around my house. So we're gonna do a really fun one today with my office because I have been waiting for a product that was like a Kickstarter product or an Indiegogo product to like go live, but it has not gone live and it's like an office sign that you can change with your phone that says what you're doing. Since I'm in a temporary space anyway, I figure maybe I don't want to drop all the money on that right away. I can't get it anyway. So I'm going to hand make my own personal busy sign for my office with my Cricut. So here's my Cricut Joy. You guys are familiar with this little machine. It is so tiny and cute. It fits in my small space and I can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. I was decluttering the other day and I had these little notebooks that I used to write in and I don't use them anymore so I got rid of them. But I found this little pocket that you can stick on stuff and I think I'm gonna try and use this for the sign. I think I can use this for the door. I think I can put different like statuses inside this pocket and I can hang it on the door. I gotta be careful because it's an adhesive back so I think I'm gonna um, hang it with command strips instead of the adhesive back so I don't damage the paint on the door but I think this will be really fun. I've used my Cricut machine in so many ways since I got it. I wanna show you guys a few things that I've done with my Cricut that I haven't shown you and some that I have shown you so. Uh, Let's, let's take a look at the, some of my old projects. So first of all, I've used it in my office already by labeling these cute boxes that I got that didn't have any labels or anywhere to stick labels. I, put, uh, I printed out some Cricut labels for these and I think they're so cute. So it contains all of my, basically my office stuff that I use all the time for content creation, all my cables and um, adapters and stuff for my camera and stuff are all in these boxes. And the labels are super subtle and Cute. I like them very much. Another really fun project I haven't talked about is actually decorating the hand soap and the dish soap here by the sink. I just, again, reused the same font and printed out these on permanent vinyl and I stuck them right on the, the glass jars and they look really cute. Guys, the salt well one is one of my favorites. Look at it, it's gold. Hello, does it look like you paid a lot of money at a store for it? Yes, did I? No, I made this label and it looks so cute. And you're all familiar how I organize my pantry using custom labels, <laughs> labels, labels. They look so cute and they're also like big enough so that I could, I never have to like strain to see like exactly what kind of rice or lentils or whatever else is in here. I even did all of my spices. Yay! These look so good. And I have not gone back since. I am addicted to making labels for everything. So today I'm gonna spend a little time doing this on the floor. I know it looks messy. I like to work on the floor, don't kill me. And I'm also gonna show you the scariest Monica closet I have. Oh my gosh, look, I have stuff on the floor in here too. Um, this is my music closet. It's got my sheet music, my books, some wrapping paper, I guess. I'm not even really sure what's in that box, but I can take a look. Um, I know this is my sentimental wedding box. I'm thinking about digitizing a bunch of that stuff, um, but I also have, the plant stuff collection, um, my office supplies, which really aren't that many. Um, printer is living in here along with some stuff I have to file. Oh, and humidifiers. It's not humidifier season, but when it is, these babies come out. And all my content creation stuff lives in here too. So we're gonna zhuzh this up a little bit so that it's not so yang yang. I'm actually getting some uh, magazine files for this row, so we'll see what it looks like when I finish. But for now, we're gonna concentrate on this sign business. Let's go. Don't speak, there's no need for you talking. Call in the higher sky. I ain't got the urge to leave. Come stay a little while. I've grown tired of wasting others.
I think these came out so adorable. <laughs> Look at this one says recording. And they're black enough because of the vinyl that you can see them from far away. So uh, when people come up to the door, they'll be like, oh, she's recording or streaming or in a meeting or working in the zone. Do not disturb. Okay, I think it turned out really cute and exactly what I needed for. So I put all the little cards in here. So if I need to change one, I, I need an extra hand here. I just put that one I need in front and stick it in the pocket and it is on the door. Isn't that fun? I think this is fun. And until like I get, you know, the permanent digital one, this is gonna do. So I'm gonna close the door and see how it looks from over here. Oh yeah. She's in the zone. In the meantime, I've made a mess of my office, but Clover is here and he is having a good nap for himself. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. So cute. So I think I'm done playing with my Cricut Joy today. It's so much fun to play with this little cutting and drawing machine. I've had so many fun projects that I've done with this and it's just, it's a joy, even if I do everything on the floor, which is the best way to do crafts in my opinion. I still got some things coming uh, from Amazon today that I need to organize part of that closet, but I'm going to clean it up as much as I can, grab coffee, put some aromatherapy on, and just um, enjoy my office. Okay, so here is the closet again. Um, little before closet tour, not that much will change, but we'll just neat it up a little bit. Um, all of the music scores <laughs> I have kept. Um, and guys, I was thinking about like digitizing these, but you know what, honestly, I love me just being able to grab one and go nuts. Like I love being able to just grab a score and go crazy and sing. So I'm just, I'm going to keep it. And, all, and actually some of these are like, um, custom and special like my friend Vartan wrote me this in grad school it is called when we were very young five songs for soprano and piano based on poetry on A.A. A. Milne and that is uh, the Winnie the Pooh guy if you don't know um, and well 2002 that was a long time ago these songs are very special to me so that's the original score and you know what every now and again my my friend Lisa and I get together and we sing it again <laughs> so um, I am going to put these into magazine filing folders so they are a little bit easier for me to find and I this way it will maybe ease it up a little bit visually so I don't have to look at quite as many colors so um, I also have to just maybe just neaten this up a little bit the stuff behind that curtain don't worry about it but the stuff here I think I can definitely stand to neaten up a little bit including my crafts cabinet um, and um this shark steam and scrub actually, um, ooh, the shark steam and scrub doesn't live here. It's just like a model that shark sent to me um, before because I was filming something for them. It actually it does not function. I'm going to return it to them. So um, it is waiting here for a return box. Um, it's just like a prop. So um, I am going to clean up this area and organize it a little better so that uh you know, it's not so much my Monica closet. I don't think there's actually anything in this box and in this box and maybe in one of these drawers as well. So I may be getting rid of some of this stuff, but who knows, or I might just repurpose it. So um, I'm gonna reorganize this little uh, closet and uh, then we'll be good to go for the day, hopefully. I'm tongue-tied, twisted around your finger like a piece of string. I'm winded, chasing after your ghost is real exhausting. I'm in love, but I don't think it's what I thought it was supposed to be. Love story, no guts and no glory. How did I get so dizzy thinking of you? I don't use your Get like this. It's something about you I miss. Could it be we never had that kiss? Well, I don't usually get like this. Get like it like this. Like 
Okay, I took all my scores down from the shelf and separated them into like categories that make sense for me. <laughs> so, and um, actually it was fun going through these again because it just made me feel like life is coming back again and hopefully there'll be more singing in the future. So um, some of these brought back some memories, like these are all individual works, like if the whole thing, like it's song cycles and stuff. So we got uh, Poulenc uh, Le Corps Pie, we've got this cool thing by Oliver Newson called Hums and Songs of Winnie the Pooh. This is a really wild piece. I've actually never performed this, but I bought this like 20 years ago, hoping to get an ensemble together one day. Hopefully it will, come. my dreams will come true. I love this song cycle. I love this song cycle. John Harbison, I think he lives like down the street in Cambridge, Mass. Um, I've seen him around. I've met him a few times. He's a super nice guy and I love his music. I absolutely adore his music and this is my favorite song cycle for soprano and piano and you know what? I'm gonna learn this. Let's take it out. We're doing this thing. Anyway, so I've separated the stuff into categories that make sense for me. Um, hopefully the magazine files will be here soon. We'll put them together and we'll get everything back on the shelf in a really neat way. I've got a ton of Bach cantatas. Your girl loves a good Bach cantata, not gonna lie. How's your day going? Is it going okay? Yeah. I hope so. You look, it doesn't look comfortable right now. Are you comfy? Are you comfy? Leave you alone? Okay, I will. Okay, it's been a crazy busy day, but I am done and I'm really happy with my office. I'll take on a little tour. So as you walk in the office, you get a free Clover when you come in. Clover comes with this office. Say hello to the people. Anyway, right as you walk in, I have my fabulous peacock table with my, my what is this, oil diffuser, my plant, and the magazine I was in, Better Homes and Gardens, Secrets of Getting Organized, Maximize Tiny, Sp Maximize Tiny Spaces. I was actually in this magazine. I am so thrilled. I mean, this was like really exciting for me, so I just have it out on display for me to look at and remind myself that I'm not a complete failure. And I have these, well, this is the remote control for these lights that are up here. I don't know if they're gonna stay like that, but they're lights. And of course, We've got the infamous Joybird couch that is actually teal, but I've covered with a cover because I wanted to soften up the color scheme in this room. So we've got some comfortable pillows. It's mainly just a clover bed because clover's always on it <laughs> and you see it in the background. I sit on it sometimes when I'm chilling, but like it, it, it actually pulls out, it's a guest bed. So this is the like guest room, but clover, this is clover's bed really. <laughs> anyway, next to the couch, we've got my plant shelf. Uh, that came from our old apartment. I have some plants here. I do have a grow light on a schedule here. So I have grow lights on the, bo the bottoms of these shelves so that the plants can get some light. I have a really cute rabbit's foot fern that I got just recently. I'm hoping I can keep this alive. So far, it's adorable. I love it. And it's called rabbit's foot fern because it has these little feet that come out. <laughs> They're so cute. Anyway, got a big window here. Uh, below the window is my green screen. Sometimes they use that when I make gaming videos, so it's chilling. Got the Hoyas on the windowsill. We love a good Hoya. I actually would only buy Hoyas if I had a choice, really. They're the, my favorite genus of plants, and I love them because they just are fabulous. Look how many white leaves this guy is spitting out. Oh, so beautiful. I still have these twinkly lights here from when I had my old office. Um, I'm gonna replace them with different ones, but I really like the way that they make the office feel. In the corner, we've got our Ikea lamp and my plant from Ikea. I actually got a new plant stand for this. Um, a little more boho, a little more warm and friendly. Uh, this came from Marshalls and I think it's really cute. Cord action on the desk. So <laughs> we got a lot of cord action, but the top of the desk is relatively not insane. So it's just stuff I have for streaming, editing, making content. We've got the lights, we've got the camera, we've got the iPad for uh, doing stuff in YouTube Studio while I'm streaming. We've got this little, um, this is my old phone, but I've repurposed it to be my Stream Deck. If you don't know what a Stream Deck is, it's actually a little controller that controls um, scenes when I'm streaming. So I can actually control like the sound, 
the light, whether the lights come off and on, whether or not to go live or finish going live, to hide my face cam, whatever. Um, all my buttons are there. Usually they have little icons too, but um, when my software is closed, the icons don't show. They just have a little, I don't know, generic symbols next to them. Got the gaming chair. Girls got a game. Rabbit ears, of course. This is the Autoful Bunny gaming chair, and it's really cute. It even has a tail in the back. <laughs> In the corner, I got my yoga mat and a couple of blankets and pillows just in case I need them. I have used that blanket uh, to get cozy in, in here and yoga mat because I do yoga like right here. The wall of hoodies. We have the Monica closet, but mostly sorted out. So I got these magazine files from Amazon. Let me wait till my white balance figures itself out. I got these on Amazon and they were really affordable because I considered going to Container Store and buying these magazine files, you know, just like these friends, and they were really expensive. So I bought two packs of six off Amazon and they have these little gold labels on them, which were super cute, right? And they're foldable when you're not using them. They were really easy to assemble. They're just one piece. And I made a little file folder for every one of my music categories. I have a little sort of reverse alphabetizing system here which maybe drives some people crazy but it, for some reason this is the way that I imagine it it's like backwards for me and basically I just neatened up the shelf a little so it didn't look too crazy there's a big blank space there I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm just probably just gonna leave it um, it just it's just some content creation stuff that's over here these boxes are actually empty I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but I'm gonna leave them there for now um, this is a bunch of like electronic stuff that I use sometimes like this is a mic that I use when I make singing recordings it's it's different than the other mic, so I need to have it um, in all of its peripherals there. I just have, it's like, it's cables and stuff. Um, and down here I've got uh, camera stuff, more camera stuff. I've got tripods, things to hold iPods, camera cases, microphones, switch pods, whatever. I got an extra HDMI cable. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff. And then in this thing I've got sort of computer stuff and uh, CDs and stuff. And then down here we have some more cameras. This is a DSLR camera. This is also a DSLR camera, but this one takes video. So this is my, this is actually my Canon SL2. Um, and then down at the bottom we've got Nintendo. <laughs> I love this drawer because it has all my portable Nintendo stuff if I ever want to play um, DS. Um, these are all my GameCube games too. Not all of them, but a lot of them got uh, into this little pouch. They're, I still have the cases, but I just shove them in this pouch just for portability. We've got lights and the bulbs that go with the studio lights there. We've got, this is my craft cart. You guys have seen this before, but I just neatened it up, you know, and just have all my Cricut stuff on top, actually. And uh, I got, like, stuff to make cards, stuff to just, I just, this is like my art <laughs> crafting drawer. We've got uh, jewelry making stuff jewelry making stuff and on the bottom I think it's just it's like paper and stri yeah it's like paper and stuff I would I need to move that to like open the drawer but the vacuum's here and I got um wrapping paper and stuff there this is uh, I neatened up the humidifier so I just shoved them under there a little bit more <laughs> got the printer got uh this is pr printer paper and stuff that needs to leave the house this is sort of my outbox we've got office supplies they're not I don't have that many office supplies I just have like a few sort of things that are in here not that not that big of a deal got a cup what's in here actually oh yes this is my work um pouch and got my Cricut and my uh, easy press to make shirts and stuff coming soon and then just plant stuff plant stuff like soil and extra pots and uh, stuff to spray <laughs> neem oil oh, coming up soon. I don't want to do it, but it's coming up. Um, every now and again, I give my plants a bath and I like spray them with neem oil. It's disgusting, but like keeps the bugs away um, and some extra grow lights. So we neatened it up a little. Pay no attention to the mess behind the curtain. It's just extra alpha shelving that we didn't use. We're taking it to our next place. It's just going to chill there. It's not bothering anybody. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. Excuse Hello? Hello? Okay, I guess that means it's time for me to go and play fetch. I hope you enjoyed this organizing video. If you're interested in getting your own Cricut, please go to the description down below. I will have a link for you to go check it out, read more about it, go buy your own Cricut Joy. It is so much fun. You can do everything, <laughs> everything. All right, you guys. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 
Sir, are you ready? All right. Ready? You want this? Just squeak. Yeah, ready? Go get him. All right, how long are we doing this? Like an hour? 